Here we go. Oh. Immediately off the mark. Yeah. Oh, if he hits a stump, he'll be out. He misses. Both of them were standing in the middle. The wicketkeeper had ample time to aim and just take an extra second maybe to hit the stumps and miss it completely. Goes down the wicket, top edge. It flies over mid-off. It'll fall safely. And Zaman will pick up a couple. A little bit of shape, but it's through the covers. Beautifully placed. It's a long boundary. It's over 70 metres and it'll get there. First boundary tonight. Stanlake now with his first over. Goes for it and gets an edge on it. And picks up four. Short. And he'll take on the man in the square and they'll get it. A boundary for Pakistan. And uh, the timing was good. Picked the gap nicely. Although the square leg fielder was on the boundary, he had no chance to stop that. It was timed so beautifully. Yeah, you got to be very precise with your length. Gives himself room and misses. There's a shout. Oh, Coulton Isles, very, very confident. And so is Alex Carey. Aaron Finch, they could go upstairs if they want to. Alex Carey saying, I reckon he hit it. We'll have to make the decision quickly. Yes, there we go. So going upstairs for a call behind is what the Australians are thinking. Mm, can't hear anything. I think the ultra edge will tell us a better. Ooh, what's that? That is an edge. That's a good decision taken by the captain. Well, Alex Carey, the keeper, was very confident straight away. So was Nathan Coulton. Oh, it's very noisy out there for the umpire. Uh, the music is loud. So it looks like a fine edge. That's beautifully placed. What about that? That is a classy shot there from Baba. It's never easy. Beautifully played. The man in sublime form. Flicked away. No protection out there. A beautiful shot from Hafiz. A pitch here in Dubai, a touch slower, but what a control stroke. Didn't need to hit it hard. Just pivot on it. Here's the flick. The fine leg fielder was asked to come in. He's played the field. That's a brilliant piece of batting and thinking from Hafiz. And he's greeted with a lofty hit. That may just clear the man. It's a big six. First ball, pressure on the leg spinner. Smashed away. 81 meters. Took the fielder on at long off. Cleared it easily. Big shot, and he drops it as a difficult catch. Shortening the length, he's trying to get back. Yeah, time to really see it. They're trying to steady himself, low catch. Should have been taken. Oh, it's gone big. Has he gone enough? Chance it long on, no. Good work from AJ Ty in the deep. Starts with a short one. It's a poor delivery and well put away from Hafiz. Stayed back in the crease. That boundary also brought 50 for Pakistan. Uh, an off cutter. Especially with the fine leg up. There was every chance the ball will go to the boundary. Just rolling the wrist on the ball. This partnership has been a strong one for Pakistan in the first game. Looks like they're doing it again. So night, that could be a wicket. No, six. Pretty much exactly what the boys did in the first game and take wickets at the back end and really restrict the, the run scoring. What's the key to taking wickets at the back end in a T20 game, do you think? Dot balls are as good as wickets. Speaking of wickets, that could be one. Thanks, Mitchell, for your time. And uh, we'll take it back upstairs, boys. Yeah, he played quite nicely in the early stage of his inning. He, he controlled it nicely, but did it straight. Straight to the man who made no mistake. Big shot, will he be taken? Yes, very good catch. Losing a couple of wickets quickly. That's what turned around in game one. Looked like a wrong in there from Adam Zampa. And it was there, and it was in the slot. 
Bubba's got to go. Good catch from Aaron Finch. 160 plus. Big shot. That's club for six. First glimpse of Arsenal in this T20 series. What a strike. The slower balls have been the ones that have been hard to hit, but this one back deep in the crease picks it up beautifully right out of the middle of the bat. It's a smash. This should be taken. Australians have fielded well. It was a slice. Darcy shot picks up a catch. He's disappointed because he's middling them okay. Gone. Well, you got to go for it. That's the thing with it. And you've only got four overs left and you've only got 117 on the board. It forces you to try and take every ball, but it's some good bowling and some good fielding from the Australians. Oh, that's gone fine. That's a good start. To Shreb Malik, that's slow ball that's hit over the infield. Oh, couple of runs. Mid off, takes the catch. Shreb Malik has been dismissed. I reckon that was a hard catch for Mitch Marsh. I think he didn't pick it up. He th I think he thought it was coming a lot faster. You watch his leg at the end, and he just got it in his hands. <laughs> Goes back straight away. Mid-off is running back. Mitch Marsh takes a wonderful catch. It's a tumbling effort. It's a great effort. It's a brilliant piece of fielding. It was off speed, but it was up. It was pitch. It was the shot. Just got it on the bottom of the bat. Hassan Ali, but have a look at this catch from Mitch Marsh going back. He would have been thinking about the rope. It bubbles up and grabs it in his left hand. It's a classic catch from Mitch Marsh. And the man who scored 17 in game one misses out tonight. 31 for six. Let's go over the infield for runs. Four of them. That's a very good start. It's poor delivery. With the fine leg up, it was a high bouncer. He didn't need to bowl that, Andrew Tight. His line has been wavered in the last over, the left and right hander, but have a look at this. It's too short. It would have been a wide nearly anyway. It would have gone way over his head. But he's paid the ultimate price there. On for four, so it's a good strike. They pro probably tried the knuckle ball. Four of the first ball. Goes big away towards mid wicket. Two. At least. Goes big. Hits a six. Hits a six. That's more like it. Now we're talking. Not to bring a smile to the captain. And what a time to do it as well. It was a change of pace. Fahim just held back, picked it up beautifully. Seema. But he had his fingers spread on it. It was a slight change of pace, and that was enough. Yeah, beautifully balanced. Very good example of power hitting. Last ball of the innings. Can they get another big one here? Big shot. Oh, misses the ball going down the leg side. So Pakistan end the innings on 147.